Hi guys, in this video I will do the performance and speed test comparison of the Lenovo Duet 5 on the right side here to HP X11 on the left side. These devices are Chromebook Twin-in-1s, that means that you can de-attach the keyboard, use it as a tablet, or you can attach the keyboard and use it as a laptop. Hope you guys will enjoy this video, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more reviews. The first thing that I want to show you guys is the benchmark results using the Geekbench application. I will try to open this application at the same time on both devices. As you guys saw, both of them loaded the app at the same time, as they have almost the same CPU. HPX11 on the left side has 8 cores. Two of these cores are A76 with 2.4 GHz, and six of them are A55 with 1.8 GHz. It's an 8 nanometer chip, and it has Adreno 618 GPU. On the right side, we have the Duet 5. It has also 8 cores. Two of these cores are A76 with 2.55 GHz, and six of them are A55 with 1.8 GHz. It's also 8 nanometer chip, and it also has the Adreno 618 GPU. Now I want to show you guys the benchmark results using the Geekbench 5 application here. In the history, I performed two times these tests, and both of the test results are similar for both of these devices. So I will open the first one here. And as you guys see from the benchmark results here, these devices performed almost similar. For the comparison here, I also added the single core results and also multi-core results of the original Duet, and also Samsung Galaxy Tab S7, Tab A7, and also Tab S7 FE. For the GPU benchmark results, I used the GPU Mark benchmark application, which is an Android application. Again, I tried to open them at the same time. Duet 5 was slightly faster there. And as you guys see, they both have the same benchmark results as they both have the same GPU at Reno 618. For the comparison, I also added the original Duet's GPU benchmark results here using the same application. And as you guys see, Duet 5 and HPX11 perform better than the original Duet. I turned off both of these devices. Now I will try to turn them on by flipping the cover. And by doing so, we will be able to load the Chrome OS and we will see which one of these devices will be able to load the Chrome OS faster. I will try to log in as fast as I can by typing the pin here. And as you guys see here, the Duet 5 is slightly faster, but it's really negligible. Now I will move to the settings here. I will try to open the settings at the same time on both of these devices. And as you guys see, Duet 5 was really slightly faster, but it's again, it's negligible. They both run the Chrome OS 97 and they're both on this stable channel. Now I will try to open the wallpaper application on both of these devices. To do so, I will just right click and go to the wallpaper. Here, HPX11 was slightly faster, but the difference is negligible. Now I will try to select the wallpaper to see which one of them will load the wallpaper faster. Duet 5 was slightly faster here. Next, I want to make a screenshot on both of these devices. To do so, I will just use the shortcut on the keyboard here to make the screenshot. It's a convenient way to do so. Now I will try to make the full screenshot. The Duet 5 was slightly snappier with the notification there. Now I will open the Files Manager to open the picture that I made or the screenshot that I make to see which one of them will be faster. You guys also can see which, which one of these devices are snappier. And Duet 5 was slightly faster to load the picture here. Let's continue with an installation of Netflix application using the Play Store on both of these devices. As you guys saw, Duet 5 was slightly faster to open the Play Store. HP 1 was slightly behind. Now I will try to search for the Netflix application on both of these devices. Then I will try to install it. So first it has to be downloaded and it has to be installed. And afterward, I will open the application to see which one of them will be faster. Downloading started faster on HPX11, and because of that, it was able to install it faster. And now when I try to open the application at the same time, Duet 5 was clearly a winner, as HPX11 is a little bit struggling to load the application. Now I will try to open the Google Chrome browser on both of these devices. As you guys saw, they both loaded the Google Chrome at the same time, so there was not that much difference there. Now I will try to go to the Verge 
and there we will see which one of these devices will load the website faster. The Duet 5 was clearly faster compared to the HP 11. As I try to scroll here, they both perform the same. It's not the best experience, but still they work quite well. Now I will try to load one another page here. And as you guys saw again, Duet 5 was slightly faster again to load the web page. Now I want to open the Google Chrome browser again and go to the YouTube website. And there I want to open a video to see which one of them will perform better. The loading of the YouTube was slightly faster on the Duet 5. Now I will try to go to my channel, Amzat, and there we will see which one of them will be able to load the video faster. I will select this video on both of these devices. As you guys see, HP X11 was slightly faster to load the page here and start the video. I will skip the advertisement. Now I will try to make these videos full size and see the animations. As you guys saw, the animations are quite similar here. They're not that much difference. And obviously the Duet is able to take advantage of the aspect ratio and get rid of the black bars on the top and bottom. I want to push these devices by opening multiple YouTube videos and do multitasking, open the videos side by side to see which one of them will perform better and which one of them will suffer from this task. And to do so, I will open some videos from my YouTube channel here. However, I will not open too many videos as HPX11 has 8 GB of memory and Duet 5 has only 4 GB. I will be also silent so you guys can focus on the video. As you guys saw, both devices performed almost the same, so there was not that much difference. And you can clearly see that they still slightly suffer, especially with animations when you try to full size and minimize the videos. I will now try to open the Call of Duty Mobile on the tablet mode here to see which one of them will be able to start and load the game faster and how the gaming experience will be on both of these devices. Again, I will be silent so you guys can focus on the video. Duet 5 was able to load the game faster. As I said in my previous video, Duet 5 is slightly large with 13.3 inch screen size to use it as a tablet and use it for gaming, especially if you want to use the touch input on the screen 
If you have a gamepad, then it will be perfect. Then you can play without no issues. Moving to the HP Pixel 11, the device is 11 inch, so it's much compacter compared to the Lenovo Duet 5, a 13.3 inch screen. So it's easier to hold in your hand. So the gaming experience is a little bit better here, but the animations and how the game performed is similar to the Duet 5. The next game that I want to run now is the Space Marshal 2. Again, I will try to open the game at the same time to see which one of them will load the game faster and again how the gaming performance will be. As you guys see here, HPX11 was able to load the game faster than the Lenovo Duet 5. The gaming experience in these devices is identical, so there is not that much difference there. However, Duet 5 feels a little bit snappier, and I think it has less frame drops compared to the HP 11. I will use this grid application to compare the note-taking experience on both these devices. This grid application is an Android application which you can download from Play Store. I want to show you guys how the latency of the devices is when you try to write with the pen, which one of them will perform better. For the Squid application, they don't have that much difference, but I found that the Duet 5 is more responsive in another application, for example, on the Note shelf, it was much responsive than the HP 11. For the last part of this video, I want to use these devices in the tablet mode and do multitasking, open multiple windows, open a game, open a YouTube video, try to switch between the application to see which one of them will perform better and which one of them will struggle. I will again be silent so you guys can focus on the video. In my opinion, these devices performed almost identical. There were sometimes HPX11 was faster, there were sometimes Lenovo Duet 5. But we can say that you can use these devices for the multitasking and open the multiple windows side by side in the tablet mode, but sometimes they will struggle as you guys also see on the video here. Based on my experience, I can say that the Lenovo Duet 5 is slightly more responsive and faster than the HPX11 and also faster than the original Duet. However, the difference is not that much. As you guys saw also in the video, there were some scenarios that the HPX11 was faster than the 
Duet 5. The performance of these devices is still not comparable to the iPads or high-end Android tablets. There is a lot of space to improve, especially performance-wise. And I hope to see better performing Chromebook Twin ones in the near future with better CPU and better GPU performance. So that was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you liked the video, please do subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. On my next video, I'm going to talk about the Lenovo Duet 5. I will talk about the positive and negative aspects of this device.